Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the Mosquito Hot End and how it works on my Ender 3. Is it worth it? Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to talk to you about the Mosquito Hot End. So DIY Electronics approached me and they said they want to sponsor me a Mosquito Hot End. And I was really excited about this because I have wanted a Mosquito Hot End for a while to do those high, more high temperature prints, more complicated prints. It, it was very exciting to get that, that phone call. I just want to give special thanks to DIY Electronics. You can check out their website here. They're a great company. They give uh, great deals on products, on, on 3D printing products, and also their service is absolutely excellent. So I'm not just saying that because they gave me this hot end. It's where I have bought a lot of my stuff locally in Durban. Uh, you know, there's a lot of places around South Africa that are now selling 3D parts, and this is where I get it from in Durban when I want something quick or just to go to their offices and grab something. So I've had great service from them, and again, a special thank you. So this Mosquito Hot End, is it worth it to put it onto an Ender 3? Well, in my humble opinion, yes, I do think so. This Ender 3 is a powerhouse of a workhorse. This printer has printed the most consistent out of all of my printers. I don't have any enclosed printers or anything like that, so I've only got the this style of 3D printer. And out of all of my printers, this is the one I keep coming back to because it is so perfectly tuned. I'm getting such great prints out of it. Uh, even with the standard hot end, I was getting great prints. But then I switched to the Mosquito hot end. Now, I'm not going to tell you that the prints are 100 times better or anything like that. They're not. They are as good or if not slightly better. If you look at this Benchy that I've going to show on the screen now, if you look at the layer lines, those layer lines are printed with this Mosquito and they are gorgeous. They are really, really pretty and very clean prints. So I'm getting a very consistent feed out of this hot end and I'm very happy with it. But the one thing I'm going to tell you is that what really excites me about this hot end above other hot ends is how easy it is to replace a nozzle. Now I'm going to sound, think that sounds a bit stupid, you know, replacing a nozzle. What's the big deal about that? Well, on your standard stock uh, print head, when you try to take the nozzle out, you have to put another spanner in to hold it steady and it comes loose on the coupling at the top there. It can cause damage on the grub screw and it doesn't bite as well. Got to tighten up your grub screw. And I just don't like the way that whole system works. The other thing is that you've got a Bowden tube all the way down to your, to your uh, nozzle in a normal hot end, in the stock hot end. And the problem with that is that you can't print on too high a temperature because you start damaging that Bowden tube and you get blockages and you have to keep trimming down your Bowden tube to, to prevent those blockages from happening as damage occurs to the end of that tube. Even if you put PTFE in, once you go beyond a certain temperature, it's starting to become a little bit dangerous because the fumes that are coming off there are dangerous. So this has got an all metal feeder all the way down to the to the nozzle. You screw your nozzle in nice and tight and away you go without any problems. And I haven't had a single problem. I've been printing with this this in the, this uh, mosquito for quite a few weeks and I really wanted to put it through its paces. I'm going to tell you one of the features that I enjoy the most. You know, if you print PLA all the time, it's not going to be all that useful. But if you start printing higher and higher and more exotic materials, the bigger problem with that is, say you push ABS through this nozzle and it performs beautifully with ABS, but you push ABS through the nozzle and it goes through the nozzle at the bottom. And after a while, you want to now print in PLA. When you put PLA through, there's always a little bit of ABS left in the nozzle. And cleaning that out is a mission because you have to superheat your PLA, try force it through there and try push out with this very soft PLA all the ABS and a lot of times it doesn't all come out causing blockages in your nozzle. You have to do pulled, cold pulls and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, one thing with this is what I have done. I don't know if people will agree with me, but this is what is working for me and it's working really well. I have a set of nozzles that are just purely PLA. They're like standard brass nozzles, cheap brass nozzles, and they're for PLA. Then I have another set of nozzles or at least one nozzle for PETG. 
and then another nozzle for ABS. And then I start getting into the more abrasive materials like nylon carbon fiber, which will destroy a, a, a brass nozzle. So what I do is I put a hardened steel nozzle in there and then I can print off that. So I have these nozzles now laid out in my, in my workshop with different uh, materials that I push through each set of nozzles. This makes it work perfectly because if you press, push PLA through, PLA through, PLA through, it's the same temperature, it cleans out the nozzle almost on its own. And you can even use different nozzles for the uh, different colors because firstly, it is so easy to repl uh, replace the nozzle. And secondly, um, it is cheap to replace it with brass nozzles. Why is it so easy? Well, if you look at this picture that I'm showing you at the moment, you'll see that there are four vertical risers that hold the hot end in place, the actual hot end part of it in place. So when you uh, when you change the nozzle and you unscrew it, those four little vertical shafts will hold it in place and prevent you from turning your hot end. So it is super simple, super easy. I do it hot. You can do it cold. I prefer doing it hot, but it does say you can do a cold swap. And away you go. You tighten up your nozzle, just to a nice little uh, finger tightness and print and you've got no more issues. So how did I mount this onto an Ender 3? Well, I use the Hero Me. Um, I like the Hero Me. It's a great looking uh, hot end set. And it comes with, it's, it's gone through many, many re, uh, recyclings and refactorings. And uh, it's now come to a point where on version five, I think it's on, uh, there's a, a Excel spreadsheet inside there that you can now fill in what you want to do, what print you want to do, what gantry you're using, all of that, and it will tell you what to print. So for my Ender 3, I printed out the 4020 lightweight duct standard right. So I've got a single duct going into the both sides here, but it is one of a single blower. You can put dual blowers on if you want to. I haven't found it necessary. Uh, then the next part was the, uh, the CR Ender 3D gantry adapter 1B. Sorry, yes, I am reading this because I would not be able to remember that. And that holds it on the gantry. And then uh, there's a gantry clip as well that you need. Also, you can print the BL Touch parts for it. I printed the standard mount and the BL Touch wing no, no uh, duct just to play around with those. So I'm going to play around with those. My BL Touch, one of these days, I'll put that back on and get it. I've just been doing manual bed leveling for now. Guys, I have enjoyed using this, this Mosquito Hot End. And yes, it is expensive. It is a very expensive hot end. And the, the nozzle, oh my goodness, you will not believe the price of a little nozzle. But I only use that nozzle for my high temperatures. Other than that, I have been extremely happy. I've had no blockages, no issues with uh, printing with this hot end. So the choice is yours. It's up to you. It is an expensive upgrade. I reckon the upgrade is almost the same price as buying a uh, Ender 3, the basic Ender 3. But I've enjoyed it on my Ender 3. It is really great, great quality and great prints. So guys, check out my channel. Check out the other videos that I've got in there. Some more videos are going to be showing right now as I exit out of here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. I've got no problem with that. Give us a like if you like the video and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos on these sort of these things. Guys, thanks. Have a great day. Be safe and see you soon.